Hello friends, today let's solve the triangle problem. Given a triangle, find the minimum part sum from top to bottom. Each step, you may move to agency numbers on the row below. For example, given the following triangle, the minimum part sum from top to bottom is 2, 3, 5, 1. So as we needed to find the minimum part sum, we may think about using greedy algorithm or dynamic programming. Let's see whether we can use a greedy algorithm. The answer is no. Why? Because you see, uh, if we change this 5 to 7 and uh, change this 7 to 2, at this row we will pick 3, but at this row we just can pick uh, either 6 or 7. But you know, there is a 2 here, so the pass 2, 4, 2 will be the minimum pass. So we cannot every row pick the minimum. It will not get a global minimum pass sum. So we need to use dynamic programming. But there is also another constraint that we can only move to agent numbers. That means here we are at row zero, uh, column zero. So in the next row, we can either choose the column zero or column one. And uh, if we pick the column zero here, in the next row, we can either choose column zero and the column one. We cannot pick the column two. If we start from the row zero, we may need to record the minimum pass sum uh, at each column and also the row. So in my opinion, we need a 2D array to record the minimum pass sum. But actually, we do not need to uh, record the row. If we start from the last row at the here, we know uh, like we are the colon zero, we know the in the next row, we can either choose the column zero and or the column one. If we already have their minimum pass sum, we just pick their minimum and add the current value. Let's see what I mean. If we start from the last row, we first get the minimum pass sum of each value. So we get a dp0 equal to 4, dp1 equal to 1, dp2 equal to 8, dp3 equal to 3. And when we go to the uh, this row, like we are at the column 0, we may pick the minimum from the dp0 and dp1 and add its uh, uh, current value, which is 6. So we know in this time, the dp0 will be 6 plus 1 will be 7. Like here, dp0 will be updated to the 7. The same idea, dpi will be updated to 5 plus 1 will be 6. dp2 will be updated to 7 plus 3, which is 10. And uh, we go to the previous row. We use 3 plus the dp6, uh, dp1, which is 6. So we get 3 here. dp0 will, will equal to 3. And the uh, dp1 will equal to 10, 4 plus the minimum of 6 and uh, 10. So we add uh, 6, we get uh, 10. And for the first row, we must uh, pick this value because we only have one value. So dp0 will be the minimum of these two values and plus these two. So we get 11. So at the end, we just need to return the dp0 because we have to pick this one. So what does this dpi mean, which means the minimum pass sum in the colon uh, i? We start from the last row. So we do not need to record the row because for every column, we already have its minimum pass at the column i at column i plus 1. Oh, actually, we use j. So j and j plus 1. We can use the previous calculated value. So now let's write the code. 
uh, for your in information, you see the rows e equal to 4. But actually, the row index is just 0 to 3. But uh, what about the size of the DP array? We should initialize to 5. Why? Because when we calculate the first DP4 values, this DP3, we will use uh, DP3 and DP4. So in order to um, do not need to check the, if the index is valid, we just use uh, let the DP array one larger than the size of the rows. So let's write the code. First, a simple edge case check if the triangle dot length equal to zero, we just return zero. Otherwise, we'll get the rows equal to the triangle dot size. We get the DP. The size will be rows plus one. You will see why we need a two plus one. And then we start from the last rows, which is rows minus one. I great or equal than zero. I minus minus. And then J start from zero. J less or equal than I J plus plus. You see, like here, the I is three. Uh, okay, you see here, the I is two. And the J will, the valid J will be uh, zero, one, two. So uh, actually, it's the largest J will be equal to the I. Then dp j will equal to minimum dpj dpj plus one, which means the last. Uh, if we add this row, we will use the dpj dpj plus one, which means the, the following row value plus the current triangle get uh, current row get current column value. So if uh, you see we add the last row, we will use uh, the previous, uh, the, actually the following row. So we will use the three. Uh, for this DP3, we will use DP3, DP4. DP3, DP4. That's the reason we uh, make this one larger than the rows. Finally, we just return DP0. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.